Hi, my name is Alex from ComSource in Melbourne, and today I'm going to walk you through basic functionality of our Cloud PBX system. There are several ways in which you can modify your voicemail greeting. In this case, we'll press the envelope button. Please enter your access code. The access code is the extension that you're calling from. This is the main menu of the mailbox. To hear your messages, press 1. To change your access code, press 2. To record your name, press 3. To record a personal welcome message, press 4. To record, please record your greeting after the tone. Press the hash key to finish the recording. This is Alex from ComSource. I'm afraid I'm not able to take your call right now. If you please leave your name and number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. To listen to your recording, press 1. To use your recording, press 2. To record again, Press 3. To delete your recording and return to the main menu, press 4. In this case, we'll press 2 because we want to keep the to message. To your recording, this is the main menu of the mailbox. To hear your messages, press 1. To change your access code, press 2. To record your name, press 3. To record a personal welcome message, press 4. To record a message, press 5. To select your mailbox greeting, press 9. There's nothing left to do, we just hang up. You can see from the flashing red indicator on the phone here that I have a voicemail. I'm going to show you how to access your voicemail. To do so, press the envelope button. Please enter your access code. Your access code is the extension which you're dialing in from. This is the main menu of the mailbox. To hear your messages, press 1. We'll press 1. To change your act, you have 1. Save. Message. Message number 1. This is the call for Alex. Please call me back on 1 300 882 896. Thank you. End of message. To repeat, press 4. To delete, press 7. Message deleted. This is the main menu of the mailbox. To hear your messages, and we press have 1. No more messages? To change your access. So code, we'll hang up. 2. Our hosted PBX solution enables you to have voicemails dispatched to your designated email address as an audio file. This feature can be turned on and off using the following star codes. To enable copy of voicemail to email address, simply press star 95 followed by the hash key. The system will forward voice messages via email. To disable the copy, of voicemail to your email address, simply press star 96 followed by the hash key. The system will store voice messages for retrieval by phone. I'm now going to show you how to redial the last number that was called or received. First method is you press history, select the number you want, in this case the top one here, and hit send. To consoles. For customer service, press 1. Put. The second method is to hit star 66 and then hash. To consoles. For customer service, press 1. I'm now going to show you how to transfer an incoming call to a colleague. Alex speaking. Alright, let me transfer you over now. So now we'll hit the transfer button. This will put the customer on hold. And now we'll enter the extension number 401 followed by the hash key. Hi, are you available to take a call from a customer? Alright, I'll transfer you over to I'll transfer them over to you now. Let me hit the transfer button. I'm now going to show you how to activate call forwarding. You might use this to forward all calls coming in on your desk phone to a colleague if you're in a meeting. I'm going to press star 72 
followed by the extension number, in this case, 401, and then press hash. You have set call forward for all calls to number 401. I'm now going to show you how to deactivate call forwarding. So to do this, just press star 73 followed by the hash key. Call forward for all calls has been disabled. I'm now going to show you how to activate the Do Not Disturb feature. You would use this if you would not like to receive any calls for a period of time. So what you're going to do is press the button here. It says DND, or Do Not Disturb. And to deactivate Do Not Disturb, simply press the button again. I'm now going to show you how to activate Block Caller ID. This means that the person you are calling cannot see your number. You're going to press star 31 followed by the hash key. Your call ID will be blocked on outgoing calls. I'm now going to show you how to reinstate caller ID. This means that the people that you are calling will be able to see your number. So what you're going to do is press star 41 followed by the hash key. Your caller ID will be visible on outgoing calls. 